Right, the second sorting algorithm I'm going to look at is shuttle sort. Now, shuttle sort is going to be set out in a relatively similar way to bubble sort, um, but there are key differences to how it works. Okay, so um, first of all, it will look as if I am setting out ready for bubble sort, the way that I set uh, shuttle sort out. Okay, so it looks similar okay i'm going to be counting the comparisons and swaps as i was for bubble sort okay um however what we do is we look at each level in turn okay and in this case we're going to start with the four and the six and what we do is we box them that identifies what we are comparing now, all, like uh, counting all the swaps with the upwards diagonal lines, okay, in bubble sort, all the comparisons, in this case, if for shuttle sort, will be um, counted by the boxes. Okay, so four and six are compared first. They are in the correct order, so that's fine. Rewrite the list. That's that. Okay, one comparison was made. Uh, no swaps were made. We then go down one level, and we now compare the 6 and the 1, okay? Now we know that the 6 and the 1 will have to be swapped, okay? And now shuttle sort enables us to say, well, okay, well, if the 1 has to be swapped, okay, with the 6, then we might as well check that the 1 is in the correct place. Okay, so what we're going to do is, in order to determine whether 1 is now in the correct place when we switch 1 and 6, we're going to compare the 1 with the 4. And lo and behold, they're going to have to swap as well. Okay, so the 1 and the 6 swap, and then the 1 and the 4 swap. So it pushes, this one pushes the um, numbers up the list, as it were. So two comparisons are made, 6 and 1, 1 and 4, and two swaps are made. Okay, so we now have 1, 4, 6, 2 and 5, and we drop down a level. We're now going to compare the 2 and the 6. Now they're going to have to be swapped. So we need to compare the 2 with the 4 to make sure that it's in the correct position. They also need to be swapped. So we're also going to have to make sure that the 2 is in the correct position with 1. So we have to compare 1 and 2 as well. So we compare 2 and 6. So to make sure that they're in the correct position, we compare 2 and 4, but they need to be swapped. So now we compare the 2 with the 1, and they also, well, they don't need to be swapped anymore, but it checks whether they're in the correct position. So we've made 1, 2, 3 comparisons. And we swapped 2 and 6 and 2 and 4, but we didn't swap 2 and 1. So we now have 1, 2, 4, 6, 5. We drop down a level, and we now compare 6 and 5. Now there's going to be need of a swap here, so we're also going to need to check that 5 is in the correct place with 4, so we make a comparison there. And the fact that they are means that we don't need to make any more comparisons with the upwards list. Okay, once we know that there are no more swaps to be made there, we can end. Okay, so we now have it as one, two, four, five, six. Here we made two comparisons and we made one swap. Okay, so this is how shuttle sort works. And you can kind of imagine that when it, the shuttle meets a new number, it shuttles it, shuffles it, or shuttles it into the correct position. Okay? So that's an example of shuttle sort. I will go through another example in the next video.